customer has leaves curling on her tomato. <laughs> Alarm, tomato emergency. Come and see, we've got tomatoes with a very common problem, which is called leaf curl. Look at these, they've become a little thick. They're a little bit leathery and they're curling up on the plant, some lower leaves. But yet when we look, it's a lot of the bottom leaves down here show and curl. Look up here at a normal leaf. Here's somewhat normal foliage on the tomato. And when I look at the top, it's normal. And not every plant in the row has this problem. So this is really common occurrence at this time of the year. This is just called tomato leaf curl or tomato roll. And everybody goes, well, what, what's happening? First of all, this is not an alarm. This is, there's no reason to say, oh, I need to do something. You really don't need to do a thing about your tomatoes. This is a common, common, common problem, especially if you have tomatoes that are grown in containers. And we don't fully understand what causes this problem on tomatoes. We think it's a fluctuation of moisture up and down. We think it's attributed also to temperatures, warm temperatures and low temperatures flying up and down. So any of those, sometimes when somebody's putting a lot of nitrogen fertilizer on it, those things we believe can call it, cause it. But since it's not affecting the long-term health of the tomato, you might want to be able to see, can you see these lovely, this is a paste tomato. Look how large her fruit is. She's already got fruiting occurring and flowers on the end. So she's having a great success with all of her tomato plants. Here's another one. This is not a paste tomato. This plant is not really showing very much of this leaf curl. Look, she's got nice fruiting occurring on here. Nice green foliage. I can tell the client has been fertilizing it very well by the nice deep rich color. So that can contribute to it. Remember, you don't want to put too much nitrogen ever on a tomato because it'll actually prevent it from making a lot of fruit. The tomato may think it's on vacation and it has no need to make any fruit and it'll just kind of ride along and make leaves. So don't ever over fertilize your tomatoes. So that's the symptom, the curling and somewhat leathery leaf, usually on indeterminate tomatoes. Some tomatoes are determinate height and they'll fruit at a certain height and they stop growing, which is probably the cultivars that she has here. These are indeterminate cultivars that keep growing. One concern I have for her tomato here is it's gonna grow above her stake. So I'm recommending that she's gonna to have to put another six foot stake on top of here to get these tomatoes uh, with some support for the top of it. The main concern on this leaf roll is it does allow some sunlight to penetrate into your tomato. So you may get some sun scald problems on there. So you don't wanna prune heavily if you're concerned about getting leaf curl. And when I say prune, we're talking about pruning suckers and we didn't do a video on that yet, but she has faithfully pruned her suckers. Let me show you what it means. Notice right here, I've got a fruiting stem. I've got fruits, I've got flowers, and there's a shoot coming out of here. When you prune out suckers, you're just pinching that out. Just pinch it right off and totally remove that because we don't want a lot of branching. We want to limit the number of branches on our tomatoes because we want quality fruit. You can see on these stems, she's already removed a sucker from there and down in here. So she's been doing a very faithful job of removing suckers. So that's just another little side tip. But these indeterminate are more prone to this leaf roll problem. You don't have to be worried. The reason the plant's doing it is it's saying, emergency, emergency, something's happening and the plant is thinking, I need to conserve and I need to prevent some evaporation. So it's an emergency reaction by the plant to try to conserve moisture. So don't, don't be worried about it. They're probably gonna stay curled the rest of the summer. They're not gonna straighten back out. You can live with it. You're gonna still get production. No really reason to concern. If, if there was some way you could create shade for your plant, that might help, but honestly, that's just too much work. So just live with it. So that's your little tip. I'm glad I was here to help my customer with her emergency leaf roll. Take care, bye-bye.